This is Luis Sandoval, fighthype.com here with Oscar Valdez. First of all, man, uh, give the fans an update. What's going on with you, man? What can we see you back in the ring? Well, right now, um, um, I'm getting ready for my next fight. It's going to be um, April 11th. Uh, it's supposed to be in Texas. So I'm been getting ready. I've been getting ready since um, day first of this year. And hopefully it's going to be a good year like last year. You know, 2004, I had six fights. So right now, I'm just trying to get as more experience as I can. So um, to get, accomplish my dreams, to become as any boxer's dream, a world champion. How far is that dream from you, you think? You think you need another year, another two years? How, how quick can we see you on that stage? If it was up to me, I'll be the next fight. You know, <laughs> that's my dream. I want it to be close. But I got a manager that decides for me and what makes a, makes a shots. He's a genius in the sport. Uh, it's Frank Espinosa. Uh, he has had many boxers like Abner Myers, uh, Israel Vasquez, and Ponce de Leon. He, he, knows, he knows the business. And, um, um, I'm just real loyal to him, and he, he knows what to do, and I'm just going to follow what he says. I think your record's 14-0 right now. 13 knockouts. Only one guy's gone to distance with you. I mean, is it, uh, how, how is your power, man? I mean, it has to be great. You, you only, only one guy's gone the distance. Is that one of your strongest traits, you think? It's, it's, um, it's kind of crazy because I don't consider myself as a hard hitting puncher. Uh, I know the rivals right now is, is not been the ones uh, as what people want to see. I want, they want to see like hard fights. But um, like I said, I don't consider myself a hard hitting puncher. I consider myself as a smart fighter inside the ring. But obviously, if I hurt my, my opponents, I'm going to try to finish them, which has been the case with all these fights. But like I said, um, I'm, just, I'm just waiting for my shots. People tell me they want better rivals. And I think this fight is going to be a good fight because um, my first fight is 10 rounds. And, um, you know, 10-round fights, the competition gets bigger. My, my rival should, should be a, a good fight. And I'm just going to go in the ring and, you know, do, do my thing. As, uh, it's, it could be Floyd Mayweather, it could be Benny Pack. Yo, I'm going to fight the way uh, Oscar Valdez fights. Who are some of the fighters that you kind of looked up to when you were coming up, like that kind of you molded your style to, or guys that you like looking at and say, I want to kind of do what he does? Um, growing up to, um, I've always liked Julio Chavez. I'm always going to say that. For me, it's like Muhammad Ali. People say Muhammad Ali, but for me, it's, Chavez is the greatest of all time for me. Uh, but I've, I've grown up looking up to Eric Morales. I, I, I love the way he fights, the warrior type of fight. Uh, Eric Morales, Jose Luis Castillo is one of my favorites as well. Um, he's from where I'm from, from Sonora. And, um, you know, those, those two fighters are the warriors. And it, it kind of, when I was growing up, I seen their fights and it kind of motivates me right now as a fighter. When you look at your division, featherweight, how do you see it? I mean, there's a lot of names there. Do you keep an eye on those guys? I mean, what do you think? Yeah, man, it's a tough division. But when I tell everyone, when people tell me it's a tough division, I tell everyone, uh, I don't see division that's easy. I don't see no division being easy. And um, I see you got Johnny Gonzalez, you got Vasilo Mashenko, uh, Nicholas Walters, the Mexican Russian, and um, I'm missing one. <laughs> so there's, a lot of, there's a lot of competition right there. You got Amir Myers, you got a lot of good fighters out there. But I don't see nothing possible. They go in the gym the same way I go in the gym. They wake up early in the morning the same way I do. And they train the same way I do. Which I think I train a little bit harder than what they do. Because I, I mentalize myself that I train harder than them. They, they. To become a world champion, I got to beat them. So I'm going to work um, 110% more than what they do. So I'm going to work hard so I can beat them. Did you ever meet any, like, I know Lomachenko, you were an Olympian. Was Lomachenko an Olympian, and did you get a chance to fight him or anybody like that? You know, uh, for me, being an amateur has helped me out, has helped me out a lot. Yeah. Uh, I fought the best amateur. I fought Vasily Lomachenko. I, I, I lost against him. He's a very good fighter. Take nothing away from me. He's a very good fighter. He's no ordinary fighter, as I'm going to say that. He's a, a very difficult fighter to fight. I guess I fight everyone, but he's one of the fighters that is very difficult. But I sparred Abner Marius, I sparred Los Santa Cruz, Orlando City Salido. Uh, I sparred a lot of fighters. And a lot of, uh, I sparred a lot of good guys. And it's helped me out a lot to be professional. But um, it's helped me out to, become, to know where, what position I'm at as a professional. And I know I could be, one of, uh, I could be up there with them. You know, every time people talk about you, they talk about you being the, one of the best prospects, you're going to be one of the future stars. How does that make you feel? Is it a little bit of pressure? Or do you like that people are referring to you that way? It's not pressure at all. Um, I think I, well, ever since I was 17 years old, I went to Olympics. Um, 2008 finishes. Olympics finished. 
ever since 2008, um, the pressure has been on. So I have four years of experience of pressure. So I know how to manage pressure. And I, I've come to the conclusion that it doesn't matter what people think as long as I'm good with myself. As long as I train good in the gym, I'm going to do good in, inside the ring in the fight. So that's my conclusion. And ever since it has, it's been going well, so I'm going to keep going like that. I'm going to train really hard in the gym. And no pressure at all. If, if I'm grateful with my gente from Sonora, and Mexico, and people here in the States that my fans, uh, certain fans that have a... Um, have faith in me. I'm a. Uh, I'm not gonna let them down because I train really hard and I'm gonna go out there and give my best.